Hello guys, good evening. Um, I have to stop that habit of saying um. So my last video I made a brief review um, about what it's like to work for Amazon Flex. And since I worked for that company for what was crossing nearly two years, uh, even though they'd let me go and they'd more or less sacked me, I thought I would give a review as to what it was like to work for them. But also at the same time, even before I joined, even before I was dismissed from Amazon Flex, I was working for City Sprint, or should I say, on the dot? On the dot, on the dot is basically it's a courier company, a logistics firm, which is a, a sub company of City Sprint. But on the dot, you use your own vehicle to perform the jobs and um, carry out deliveries and pickups and so on. So basically, I thought I would just um, give a brief review on what it's like to work for for on the dot, which is basically City Sprint. Uh, so there's four, there's a few things I'll cover. Well, first was how you get pick up work to the salary and also uh, problems you may have when you're working or when you're not working um, on any given day. So firstly, the onboarding process is very similar to Amazon. They look at your driver's license, driving history, your cr criminal past, do you, have, do you have a criminal record? There's an interview stage. Um, when I signed up for Amazon Flex, there wasn't so much an interview stage, but it was an induction phase. And I remember in 2017, somewhere in South East London, in the summer of 2017, I had to go and attend an induction just so they could help, help with the onboarding process, which was very helpful actually. They looked at driver's license, and your national insurance number, and ID verification, and just anything else, they, anything else that they needed, needed to know about you. So with City Sprint, it's similar to that, but it's much more, um, there was a face-to-face -face interview that I had to uh, attend in the company office in Shoreditch in central London. So that was okay, I passed that, and before I, before I knew it, I was working for the company. So like Amazon, there's an app that they send to you um, to download on your phone. Rather, there's a link which takes you to where you can download an app to your phone. When you're ready to work, you call up the company, you call up the office, and you tell them your current location, the postcode that you're in, and they'll let you know whether or not there is work available around you or near, or they'll send you to the area where there is work. Of course, you'd have to be prepared to drive. Uh, but unlike Amazon Flex, the the app, the app which they give you to use in your device, you'd have to refresh the app consistently looking for work. But with City Sprint, there's a better guarantee that you will have work for a particular day. Of course, you have to call. You have to start as the, the earlier the, the earlier that you start, the better. So, moving on to salary, the salary I have to say that since I've been working much more for um for on the dot since I was since I was dismissed from Amazon Flex, I have to say it's been a lot better. I think in the past two months, I've earned an average, of approximately one thousand pounds or more. Uh, so so far, I have to say that in terms of salary, I'm a, I'm much happier with City Spring than I am with. Amazon Flex. If, if anything, I do regret not sticking with City Sprint and probably quitting Amazon Flex early before they gave me the boot. Now, in terms of when you have issues or issues or any other problems whilst you're working, whilst you're on the road or whilst you're not on the road, City Sprint on the dot, they are far better than Amazon Flex. Amazon Flex, as I've said before, and I'm not sure if many people may know, but when you're communicating with Amazon Flex, you're actually communicating with a computer and the computer will look at your correspondence and assess your correspondence and um, by use, usage of algorithms, it will then determine what sort of response you're going to get in return. So sometimes you, you'll be sending over some serious uh, uh, correspondence about a serious matter and actually what you get in return will be just a generic email that seems to just overlooks what you said in your email. I probably would not even acknowledge the seriousness of the of the matter that you're trying to resolve. But with City Sprint, you can even call up you can call up the office and tell them what's happened. They'll tell you what to do to so email across any documentation that's necessary that's needed, and they can solve the issue there and then. With Amazon Flex to begin with, you probably have to waiting up to two or three weeks to for, to get a first to get a response to your first correspondence in the first place, which can be very very annoying, particularly in terms of of matters such as your salary if you had to work maybe an extra hour or two and the reason why you had to work much longer than usual was because of an issue that's beyond your control traffic incident um 
maybe your app um, cr crash the app maybe even use the navigation incorrectly and send you to a completely different location and of course a lot of your, your drive time has now been wasted and you still got about 50 or 60 parcels parcels to still deliver and if you take those parcels back to the warehouse and say what's well, beyond my drive time from my past experience amazon will still send you an email saying you have still had these parcels to complete all these unattempted deliveries so and so and so and if that happens too many times eventually they will let you go with city sprint of course if there's an if there's an issue if there's uh, something like that like that does happen if a customer's not at home if there's traffic you know you can call them up on the phone and let them know, know what the matter is and you know they can source out a problem for you and they do compensate you for mileage as well they do compensate you for if you're going to be going to say um to a, a particular address that's probably 10 miles away from where the pickup location is and also if you have to drive into certain um, low emission zones like here in London in central London we have the ULS charge and we have the congestion charge within the zone one area and they do compensate you for that too so Amazon Flex would not compensate you for that you have to be responsible for those charges charge it yourself but City Sprint they do look after you in that in that regard so overall I can say that I am a lot happier working for City Sprint than I am uh, than uh, than I was working for Amazon Flex Amazon Flex initially I thought not to bash the company or to bash Jeff Bezos but I thought at the time I thought this is just easy money open the apps refresh 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 on your phone oh there's a block there 39 pounds or 52 pounds whatever price and if you want to take it go ahead and take it um, I was happy with that because it was easier money and where you'd be delivering to usually is closer with City Sprint um, a lot of the drop-offs are in, are in location which are which are situated quite far away from where the pickup is so that is a downside but you are compensated for that but it just got to uh, you know it's not necessarily about working hard but it's about working smart you know putting everything into how shall i say or be just being organized and actually um you can actually from my in my own experience i managed to do 10 or 12 jobs in the space of four or five hours yes i may have been lucky that a lot of those jobs have been situated closer to closer together but that's just one example of what it's like to work for city sprint um a lot of the time it is um it, for me it has how do i put this for me it has um overall been a much more smoother run than it has been for working for amazon flex when there's an issue of city sprint you can resolve the matter easily and quickly when there's an issue with Amazon Flex, it's com more or less completely the opposite. But that's just my take on it, guys. Thank you for watching.